Okay, let's get a check for a forecast. Jeff, yes, wow, definitely. what a day. That was the really sunshine nice today. was out <laughs> and I was basking in it. Yeah, I am so with you guys on that. Yes, wow, definitely. Uh, I was outside today too, like the both of you. And, uh, you know, this morning, you just kind of so used to the clouds lately. And then you see that blue sky, you know it's coming. And you just had to get outside and enjoy it. So I thought I'd start off my microclimate forecast with a little quick sky camera tour. And one of the best shots I have right now of some of that blue sky that's still hanging on is right here in Belmont. Just a couple of clouds moving on by right now. But all in all, a beautiful view. And let's take you over to Tahoe, where we also did have some blue sky right up towards Heavenly and a look out there at the lake. And it is also gorgeous. And let's bring it a little bit more to the south over to Yosemite. There's lots of restrictions in place. We can't usually go a lot of places, obviously. So uh, maybe these pictures will help kind of take you away a little bit. Looking gorgeous there with some uh, fresh snow capped peaks. Now, we do have some changes coming our way. That was very, very beautiful today, but uh, it's going to turn and pretty fast for us. We have this area of high pressure that brought us the sun today, but it's going to be pushing a little bit more off to the south tomorrow. So that's going to allow the storm track to win out. So we'll begin to get some clouds from this, then eventually uh, some rain chances. So let's show you tomorrow morning. I think the best bet of getting a little bit of sunshine, at least early on, would be the South Bay in 47. Otherwise, for most of us, we have those clouds returning back here across the Bay Area. Not quite as cold because those clouds act as a blanket, so that will keep us at 50 in the East Bay. So your heater not clicking on as much. That'll be good for you. San Francisco at 50 and the North Bay at 46. Clouds linger right through the afternoon, and this will put us at 60 here in San Francisco, 64 in Concord. Also more of those mid-60s through San Jose, Morgan Hill, and right up to Livermore. Half Moon Bay, the exception there, you'll be at 57 degrees. So through the day tomorrow, we are dry, but then we see that chance of rain return. Let's get a look at this, and you can see by 1130 tomorrow night, we get some showers, some light to moderate rain developing over the North Bay. This thing really falls apart as it moves off towards the south. I think at 3 a.m., we'd have the best bet here over the peninsula and also through the East Bay. Then by the South Bay, by the time it gets there at 8 o'clock in the morning, there you can see just some scattered areas of showers left over for you. Then I think we'll be dry through the day, but then we'll see another little quick hit of some showers once we hit very, very early Saturday morning. All in all, with both of those chances of rain, trace amounts to about two tenths of an inch. The North Bay, that's where we'd have the best bet in some of the mountains to get in that quarter to a half inch range. The Sierra picking up a couple of inches of snow with this. You can see anywhere from three to about five inches. So not a big snowmaker, but definitely some winter conditions. On my extended forecast, most of the weekend will be dry for us. And then next week, 65 there in San Francisco on Tuesday. And we're still, yes, still holding on to some low 70s next Monday and Tuesday. So Janelle and Raj, um, that's going to be another fantastic day. In the seven day forecast, uh, this is almost a year working from home, you guys, and those, I, I love the rain, but the blue sunshine, mm. it's definitely makes uh, makes a big difference when day to day things don't change too it much. It does, so. Jeff. I was telling Janelle, I, see that today. I was telling Janelle, I went to, uh, out yes. to a restaurant for lunch today and had pancakes for lunch. That's the mood I'm in. Yes. Oh. I love breakfast for lunch, breakfast that for dinner. Indulgent <laughs> and perfect. Sun is good for uh, <laughs> Thank you, the Jeff. brain. Okay, and the mind. Thanks so much, Jeff.